today, I'm Vincent, the co-founder of Sea District Coffee Equipment Trading, and we have here the Sea District 3200D Pro under the lens. So just a quick rundown of our freebies, we have a 350 and 600ml milk pitcher, we have a 58mm tamper, a single head tamping mat, and a portable knock box. Now let's, let's unbox this machine to see what's inside. So what we have with the machine is a descaling solution, we have a lift tray, and makikita nyo rin dito yung ating manual. We also have a coffee scoop, a 58mm double spout porta filter, tapos nakakabit na yung double spout plastic filter. Aside from that, there is time extra, Sing uh, single spout double single shot basket filter, carry the time silicone pad, and the extra 3-hole steam tip. The nakakabit ngayon sa machine is a 4-hole steam tip. So if you want a um, malakas na pressure sa machine, kapal pa rin tip kayo. Pero, but if you want more, uh, more vortex, ang gagamitin natin is the 4-hole steam tip. So right here, meron din tayong outlet hose. And then this is the inlet hose to the machine. And lastly, we have the Group head cleaning brush. So now we'll be trying to use the machine already. Um, before we start, the machine's wattage is 2650. So please make sure that I and outlet natin yung power ng machine. So the good thing about the 3200D Pro is that since it's designed for the Philippines, yung plug ng machine natin is already two phase. So hindi na siya yung uh, traditional uh, Gemini machine at ng malaking pro. So ikakabit mo lang yung sa outlet. Aside from that, since this is designed for the Philippines, as I said earlier, yung, uh, yung frequency ng machine natin is now 60 Hz compared to the stock 50 Hz. So, magkaiba yung kulay ng pump if you will check it out. Uh, the stock pump is color red. Now, with 3200D Pro, color black yung pump niya. So, yun yung indication of 50 Hz siya. So, now, naka-plug na yung machine ko. I have to make sure that my lever right here is not to sa um, water tap. So, before I turn it on, I'll just make sure na we water tap mode muna tayo and then I'll put water here sa water tap natin. It would be better if you remove the water tap out of the machine so sa labas kayo mag-refill. So, this water tap is 1.7 liters. So ngayon nakasaksak na yung machine ko, may laman na yung water tank, I check my lever, nakatutok siya sa water tank, now I can turn on the machine. So we have a switch here sa bottom left side ng makina natin. And pag umilaw na siya, hindi nyo control panel, I'll just press this power button. So medyo mas may hindi sa 3200D Pro compared sa ibang machines na have a vibration pump. It's because yung OPV ng machine natin is copper. So, mas maingay yung copper OPV compared sa stock na plastic OPV. So, pagka-start yung machine, you'll see na yung single and double shot button natin, pag you blink it alternately. So, once it stops blinking, yun yung indication na mainit na yung bukid. And this uh, pilot light right here, pag umila naman ito ng blue, meron ng pressure yung rotor. So, that process takes around 8 minutes para ang minute ng tuloy yung machine natin. Now, um, init na yung machine natin, so yung single and double shot button natin, stable mas na. And our pin light right here, kasi higa na sa ng loop. Which means, meron na rin yung pressure yung throttle natin. So, just a quick navigation, we have here the single shot button, we have the double shot button. This is the button for the water outlet. And this, the, this is the manual button. So, si Manan ng button, mag-stop lang yan kapag pin-rest siya ulit. And as you can see, meron siya 3 second pin fusion. So, ang gagawin ng machine, mag-burst siya ng onting water after 3 seconds, saka siya mag-extract ng tulay-tulay. So, the single and double knock button is calibratable by the yield, which I'll uh, show you later kung paano siya gagawin. So, for the meantime, we'll use the manual button as we calibrate. So, ngayon, gagamit po na ako ng naked porta filter so you can see the quality of the espresso tuning po So, to calibrate, 
I'll put first 18 grams. So since 18 grams yung lalagay ko dito, ang target yield natin is 36 grams out. So ano yung normal na time frame? Um, our range could be 20 to 30 seconds. That's calibrating by the yield. Or pwede yung mas in-depth, pwede ka mag-calibrate uh, by the taste. Ngayon, itikman mo yung espresso mo, pumasin siya, lalo na just, kung mabait siya, lalo na just as well. So ngayon, lagay mo na tayo ng 18 grams ng coffee. So I'll be pairing it with 200 deep row with our SK40. Here, so I have 18 grams. I'll grind it up. After grinding the beans, please make sure na nainit yung water filter natin. So, dapat na nagawa pa hindi mo ginagamit yung water filter. Dito lang yan. Just to, just, just to make sure na basta ayos yung extraction. So, ano yung sa kalamay mo yung water filter? What I can do is to purge it with the water para uminit siya ng water. So, ayun. Purge na ako ng water filter. So now I'll put 18 grams here in the porta filter. So all the grams in the basket filter right now is the double top basket filter. You can put here 17 to 19 grams of coffee. Just to make sure mas, mas even yung pagtamp ko, I'll be using the distributor. So we're going to to level up the bed before you even tamp it. So there we are, then pop natin. So I'll purge first before I put my pot. And then we will adjust our grind size depending on what's going on the extraction. So I'll press this manual button and start my time. So you can also check yung porta filter natin, ulang lumalabas at 15 seconds, which means yung grind size, grind size natin sobrang fine. So right now, ang gagawin ko, I will stick with my dose, which is 18 grams. I will also stick with my tamping pressure kanina. Ang gagawin ko lang is the grind size. So since ulang lumalabas, masyadong mabagal yung flow natin, I will adjust my grind size coarser para bumilis yung flow ng espresso. So we'll just adjust your grinder accordingly. Kanina I was at number 2. I'll try now at 4.5. So same process, I'll put 18 grams. So I will grind up again. So now I'll put the coffee grounds at the port. Process, distributor, and then tap. Then purge again before it will launch up. So still, our espresso is too slow, la, parang lumalabas. So I still need to adjust my grinder. So I'll 
So same process, adjust the grinder. So from 4.5, I will now try 7. So wala akong, wala akong ginagalaw na kahit anong variable aside from the grind size. Here we have 18 pounds. So same process. straight now I can do more of an espresso but this is still very very slow so that's an indication that we don't have time to grind CSK 40 so instead of just So from 7, try naman natin sa, I'll try 8.2. So same rocks, 18 grams. So just make sure that level is damping that because it will not affect the espresso cup. So na, and just by adjusting the grind size, wala akong ginalaw na dose, wala akong ginalaw na tamping pressure, nag-iiba yung extraction natin. So ganun ka importante yung grinder, and ganun ka importante na freshly ground yung coffee na ginagawa natin. Because we always need to adjust when we're calibrating. So I got my 36 grams out in 38 seconds. Now if you want to make this much more slower, para makuha in 30 seconds, you can do so, but you can taste your espresso and check kung okay naman siya for you. Well, surprisingly, for this shot, the sweetness and acidity and bitterness balance siya, so I don't need to adjust anymore. So now we can move to the frothing part. So now, ang gagawin naman natin is to the froth tie ng milk. So, ano yung ginagawa ni Frother? It does two things. Number one, nagpasok siya ng air sa gatas. So, kaya siya kumakapal. Number two, pinapainit niya. 
So it's very important to do our frotting, uh, yung tamang process yung paano siya ginagawa. So I'll just move the machine a little bit para makapag-frot tayo mas maayos. So before you, before you frot, perch muna kayo. Kasi ang unang halapas sa steam tip natin is too big. So of course, we don't want the water to mix with our milk kasi nag-iba siya ng texture. So also I have here, may basahan ako dito, ito yung ginagamit ko strictly for the frother only. So after you froth, just wipe it. And then you can now start frothing. Makakaming gusto ng texture. So, perch ulit tayo after frothing kasi mag-vacuum yung paloob. So, ano yung milk na nasa may steam tip, mag-vacuum sa paloob. That's why it's very important to purge before and after our shot. So, here we have our milk. And our espresso wala sa kanila. And gusto na. So now, to connect naman our water inlet, lalagay nyo lang sa dito sa fitting sa loob. So just make sure na nakakabit siya ng maayos. May, may meron na siyang isasabit pa. Before you put the blue clip. So after nyan, make sure nyo muna na napadaanan nyo ng tubig yung machine via the water tank. Para sure tayo na may laman na tubig yung group head natin before we do this. So nakakabit na lang maayos yung pipe ko. Now I have my water gallon right here. So, ito yung process na gagawin natin kung hindi tayo gagamit ng booster pump or ng direct water line. So, of course, so ganda pa rin na either direct water line tayo or booster pump kasi hindi mag-fluctuate yung water na pumapasok dito. And aside from that, since nakalabog lang yung hose natin sa lagayan, ngayon hindi nyo napapansin dito na maangat siya, makapasuhan ngayon ng hangin yung hose. So, mag-malfunction mag yung machine. Mag-vibrate lang siya ng sobrang ingay na yung lalabas sa water sa pipet. So before I do this, naka water tank mode pa ako ngayon. I'll purge water first. So after ko mag purge ng water, so now my water, my water tank mode is working. So after ko mag purge ng water, lulubog ko na ngayon yung sa water gallon. So, I'll make sure na nakalubog talaga yung hose. So, after nyan, switch natin yung lever to water line. So, now, naka-water line mode na ako, nakalubog na yung hose natin. I'll purge water now. So, itong process ito medyo maingit sa start. Makawala na tubig yung blue head kasi may hangin pa yung hose natin. So just need to wait until we're okay yung water na naman naman sa pipet natin. So right now, my pipe is vibrating. It's because it's sucking water. So yeah, mga gusto na ito big yung pipet. But after a while, we're okay yung flow. That's because hangin kayo namalaan sa start. So let's check my line kung nalabog talaga siya. So, there 
sure na siya rin na-review yung waterline mo. Just make sure na nakalabog ka lagi yung hose. Kaya hindi siya akat. Kasi once na umangat siya ng oil, yung mga kasukan ulit ng hangin yung machine. So, I'll show you. Kapag so, pag-press ko yung manual water, okay na ulit yung water sa pag-press natin. But again, it will, it will still be better if you use a booster pump or a direct water line. So for the basic maintenance, ginagawa siya every single night kapag closing time. So before we turn, on, turn off the machine, kailangan natin basic maintenance. So mga kailangan natin, kasama naman na sa machine, we have here the porta filter. We have the silicone pad. And lastly, yung ating group head brush. So to start with, yung unang lilinisin is the group head. So I'll be using the group head brush. Tapos, I'll press the manual button. So, nag-purge siya ng water palabas. So, habang nag-purge siya ng water, ibabrush ko ngayon yung shower screen natin. Thoroughly. So, after ko siya i-brush thoroughly, the next step is to use the silicone pad. So, mag-backflush tayo ngayon. So, the, the correct process is ipapatong natin yung silicone pad on top of the basket filter. So, yung gagawin niya is i-cover niya lahat ng holes. So, now, I'll put this here. I'll press the manual button. I'll check the pressure gauge. Once it reaches 9 bars, I'll stop the process. Tapos, yung water natin, unang lalabas sa group head, dito siya lalabas sa ilalim. So, I'll press the manual button. I'll wait for it to reach 9 bars. Pag umabot siya ng 9, stop ko na siya. And then, we have to check kung malinis na yung ating group head. But since we're using a silicone pad, hindi mo siya makikita. Let's try using now a blind basket para makita niya yung dumain ng group head. So, same process. The blind basket is an aftermarket silicone pad. So, 9 bars, stop. So, here. May mga coffee grounds tayo. So, hindi ka titigil mag-backlash until maubos yung coffee grounds. So, now, kung malinis na yung group head natin, the last step is to uh, turn off the machine. So, pagka-turn off natin ng machine, meron pa rin pressure yung frother. So, ngayon, wala nang uh, light na naka-on sa control panel, pero meron pa rin pressure yung frother. So, now, pag nakapatay na yung machine, I'll turn on the knob para ma-release ng frother lahat ng remaining pressure niya. So, ang ginagawa ko, tinatakpan ko ng basahan yung steam tip para hindi sumabag yung steam sa mga equipment sa gilid na baka masira. So, on ba ang knob until maubos yung pressure ng frother? Once maubos yung pressure ng frother, let's close the knob, and that's it. So, there we have the Sea District 3200D Pro, which retails for only 40,995 pesos. So, for your questions, just leave it down in the comment section below, and we'll answer them sa next vlog natin. Bye!